night. The northern lights are expected to diminish tonight, so only northern states may be able to see them. Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. As mentioned, uh, only a smaller chance here, probably not as spectacular as what it was late last night, very early this morning. Skies, well, depending on your location, uh, are clear to partly cloudy this evening. Looking at Lincoln, it is quiet. Temperatures that have been hovering in the upper 40s to low 50s. It'll drop into the lower 40s overnight and towards daybreak tomorrow. Currently 51 in Providence. Notice southeastern mass cooler. Taunton at 42. New Bedford 44. Bristol checks in at 47. And our friends in Coventry 46. Barreville at 50. A look back at the rain over the weekend, specifically Sunday. This was much needed. Well, considering that the, the month of April up until now is very, very dry, especially Route 95 corridor north and west, one, one and a half, two inches of rain over the border, three inches, and in the further south and east towards the Cape, uh, not as much. But welcome rain, considering how dry it's been across the brush fires. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we certainly saturated the ground a little bit, but cool and dry overnight. Tomorrow is a shower day and not a rain day. Sunday was a rain day, meaning, you know, it's just all day. First of all, tomorrow morning is actually dry and really during the afternoon, there'll be many hours of dry weather, but during the afternoon, a brief isolated shower or an isolated thunderstorm. They're quick. Not every community will get one and we're going to show you in more detail in just a second. Temps seasonable this week, meaning each afternoon, upper 50s to lower 60s. Quiet across New England, a few isolated showers, northern New England, upstate New York. So what we have is a, a weather disturbance in the upper part of the atmosphere across southeastern Canada. And a little piece of energy is going to work through here tomorrow afternoon, uh, creating just a couple of isolated showers uh, the second half of the day. We'll get in close and really talk about this in more detail. First of all, this evening and overnight, under kind of clear to partly cloudy skies, we'll have some extra clouds early tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. in the mid 40s. And then for several hours, mid to late morning, we'll see some sunshine for a little bit. We'll get temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60. 11 a.m. we're dry. But notice how the clouds start to crowd in a little bit during the afternoon. This is around 2, 3 o'clock. And you see these little blips of darker green and little flecks of yellow. Quick and isolated shower or an isolated thunderstorm. One of those situations where one community may be getting a shower, next community over not a drop of rain so not every location gets one it's one of those kind of keep the umbrella on standby you may need it for a brief time i wouldn't cancel any outdoor activities tomorrow afternoon but there may be some brief uh, sort of interruptions and then by tomorrow evening tomorrow night what little activity we have left is drying up and skies that uh, clear out once again the chance for an isolated shower is just about everywhere tomorrow but the, i think the higher chance would be the further north you go especially in our northern suburbs the chances tend to be a little bit lower the further south you go. So for tomorrow morning, intervals of clouds and sun, a dry start, 11 a.m. 55, near 60 tomorrow afternoon with a brief isolated shower, slight chance of a rumble of thunder, looking at temperatures at around 58 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Seven day forecast Wednesday through Saturday. It's fairly quiet, not a lot of precipitation, leaning towards Sunday as the better chance for some rain with temperatures over the weekend, much like the entire week, upper 50s to uh, around 60. Just keep, kind of keep an eye to the sky tomorrow afternoon. If you catch one in your neighborhood, doesn't last very long. Not bad. Yeah. All right, Tony. Thanks.